What's up everyone and welcome to Radio 2. So today we're going to be reacting to Pentatonics in the sing-off. Today is time for performance number 11. I am very hyped to continue the journey with Pentatonics in their, you know, sing-off. You see the growth every week and I... And I'm just waiting for them to win this whole competition because they're... We're getting close to the finals and I am... <laughs> excited to see how they're gonna do over here. They're gonna be singing Since You've Been Gone and Forget You Remix. They're gonna combine two songs into one, I'm assuming. If that is the case, then they're gonna be the best at that. So, uh, yeah, I don't wanna waste any more of your time. Let's get into it. By the way, hold on, I forgot to say, it has been requested by Heidi. Of course it's Heidi, I don't even need to say that. Of course it's Heidi, we love you Heidi, and thank you for this Heidi. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't want to waste any more of your time, let's get into it. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm definitely ready. This is Pentatonics sing-off performance number 11. 3, 2, 1, let's go. Pentatonics put on another stellar performance with Usher's OMG. Yeah, I wanna get it on. And then brought the house to its feet with their passionate rendition of Marvin Gaye's Let's Get It On. Yep. I can't express enough how incredible that was. I mean, it's a scary feeling. I'm always nervous and anxious, but then after hearing things like that, and it's just like thrilling. This week, we're doing two songs. We're doing a master mix of Since You've Been Gone and Forget You. Yeah, they're going to be the best of that. With our master mix, we're having trouble jumping from song to song. I think that knowing that this is the most important performance of the season is kind of freaking us out. And I think it's hurting our arrangement. I'm just so afraid people are going to be like, they ruined Forget You or they totally ruined Since You've Been Gone yeah. because we're changing it up so much. We're just not sure if people will say, you know, this is the group that needs to win. I don't know if we can do this, seriously. I know all of our voices are tired. And we're all mentally exhausted as well, so, I mean, all of us are struggling. All right, you're this is the line. last opportunity to show America, we want this, we want to be here. I guess you never felt. No, you were doing something wrong. Yeah, you did an extra line. Yeah. We really want to win so we can keep doing this and go on tour and record and live our dream together. We don't want this to be the end. Hoping to leave the judges with another unforgettable performance with the Master Mix medley of CeeLo Green's Forget You and Since You've Been Gone by Kelly Clarkson, here's Pentatonix. Come on.
was crazy. Ben Atonics. Wow. Let's go ahead and go right to our experts. Ben, what do you think? <laughs> nice work. I mean, going from the Kelly Low Green to the CeeLo Clarkson was really seamless. <laughs> You knew you had a non sequitur after non sequitur to, to deal with, and you just made that entertaining. Avi and Kevin, you guys are getting to be an amazing rhythm section. You guys. Watching the battle between Avi on bass and Kevin on the beatbox was bitching. I mean, it's like you guys gave voices to the instruments. You're getting like a really tight touring band that's been out doing this for years, and you always come up with some kind of trick that you don't expect, because I keep thinking they're going to run out of stuff. And you didn't, and you did something really cool. It was great. I heard you guys had a tune for the first time of the series yet. It wasn't serious, but I think it was in the, um, uh, the second chorus of God. Which song? I don't know. It was going back and forth so well. And you just brought the whole thing together and made it entertaining. So yay, Pentatonix. Nice work. Yeah. Sarah? That was a great performance. First of all, our lead singers here, Kirsty and Scott. What I loved in this performance is that you guys were telling a story with your motion and your choices on stage as well. And you ditched Scott for Avi in the end, and, and then it, it worked out, so... <laughs> but it was really entertaining. You guys were telling a story, and that was a lot of fun to watch. I was smiling and grooving like a loser, so I think you've done your job. Thank you. <laughs> Sean? Same here, I'm so to used to you guys like actually doing like these like real ill breakdowns and all this other stuff and, and transforming all that stuff. But, you know, you didn't do that. And I still enjoyed it. You seamlessly put together those two songs where it was almost like, OK, they're singing to Kelly. Nope. This see, OK, now they're singing that one. Now they're, now they're singing that one. It was just so fluid how you guys did it, you know, just creating something different that even the artists themselves might not have thought of. Uh, Avi and Kevin, you guys are no longer named Avi and Kevin, okay? <laughs> I officially name you Meat and Potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> because <laughs> you made the whole music mega mix thing work because you stayed constant. You're so intelligent when it comes time to arrange certain things because you mm -hmm. know mm -hmm how far to push the envelope and that's why you guys are so enjoyable to listen to so good job man all right thank you sean and pentatonix will be back again later for the judges choice round thanks guys don't forget all the songs you hear tonight are available for download on itunes after the break i just watched this i i just i just listened to the judges say all these stuff and i'm like i know i know i've, <laughs> I've been in this journey for a long long time you know, like, I just, I, I don't know, it's really, truly really incredible to see, like, I've said it for 1,000 times, I, I'll say it again, it's just incredible to see the growth of Pernatonix over here. With every week, with every reaction that they do to their performances, is just, they continue to build and grow and grow and grow, and, and it's just non-stop, non-stop when it comes to these guys. I, I just love them, I just love them, and they're... For me, it's like, I don't know, they were the beginning for me in this channel. And 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 it's it's like I'm watching their beginning now. It's It feels amazing, to be honest. By the way, Sean has said something very true that nobody has really mentioned before, that Pentatonix are really intelligent. And I absolutely agree with that. Their arrangements are so creative and so smart and so intelligent. You know, like it's... <clears throat> these these five were born were born to just meet and just to create some of the best music that we will hear today um, And some of the best covers some of the best remixes some of the some of the best originals I mean these guys creativeness it's going through the roof and and I feel like this show is good that they started with this show because over here They have to build every week. They have to be sharp every week. They have to create something quickly something amazing every week and they have done it and once, and once you give Pentatonix some time to create, it's it's gonna be a hallelujah. <laughs> it's, you know, it's gonna be incredible. And, and judging how successful Pentatonix became after this, it's uh, it's evident. It's evident that these guys have done the unthinkable, the impossible, and it's just great to see them. And now, you know, I I I watch Pentatonix. I listen. I watch the crowd. I watch the judges. It's coming, man. I. I hope that this Mitch Slap is coming. I hope so. I really do. And 
and I just can't wait. It's it's building up for me. It's building up for everyone. It has to come at some point. People have no idea what's gonna happen. No, still Pedatonics. They're still continuing in the competition. They're still continuing to just slay in this competition. But they haven't picked up their ace yet. They haven't showed it. And they're saving it for the final. I don't know what round this is. I feel like they're saving it for the final. And once the final comes, they're gonna pick it up. That that ace in Mitch and his incredible voice. Because you know it. You see it. There were a glimpse of it in every in every performance. He was prepping everybody up for that. So it's gonna I see it coming. I can't wait to see it. So yeah, Heidi. Thank you. Just <laughs> that's all I have to say. I appreciate you for getting me hooked on this uh, sing off journey and I'm glad to watch all the performances it's uh, it's something that I will never forget this journey it's incredible thank you thank you all for, for watching for supporting really appreciate it and this is gonna be everything for me bye bye I'll see you in the next one